Hello guys, welcome back to the Overline Football Channel. Uh, we're doing another mystery box video on the channel today. It's going to be our third episode of mystery boxes, and it is indeed going to be the big old classic football shirts. uk mystery box. So in this mystery box on the classic football shirts website, it's listed at forty pound. Involved in it, you get a football shirt worth website value of twenty nine pound ninety nine and over. You get one scarf, one classic football magazine, ten classic football shirts, little cards. An A3 classic football shirts poster. Is a lot. <laughs> a, a classic football shirts program, which is not really unnecessary, but you get and also one two inch minifigure of a, uh, a mystery football shirt. There's a lot. It's a, more, it's a bigger unboxing. It's not just shirt this time. You no. Get this, yeah, and it, I'm guessing it's not related. It doesn't, doesn't suggest it's related. You know what I mean? Like, no, it doesn't. No, you, no. Say you get a Man United shirt, you don't get a Man United scarf. No, I believe Pons not. No, no. So it's also said so it's going to be so it's going to be in excellent or very good condition. The football shirt, and it will not include. Uh, so all would be either professional club, national team outfield or goalkeeper shirt which not include UK or Ireland based clubs and will also not include a training shirt either wait so it's, it's outside of Europe so no it's in Europe in Europe but, but not, not UK. UK or Ireland so it can't, couldn't be Premier League Championship no. League one. Oh, okay. so what are you expecting in Harry really are your predictions oh I mean um, I'm going to say it's going to come from the Italian league. The shirt. We got. Unless we got scarf on as well. Taking a scarf would be. Do you reckon it'd be a German team? It could be anything. I reckon. I, I reckon the shirt's gonna be um, Fiorentina. Oh, bold! I'll take one of them. It's very nice this season. They are. Um, and then what is it this season? I don't know. Oh, right, okay. Their season it's shirt's very nice. Yeah, Fiorentina. The the, the scarf's gonna be. You said it. There's no UK teams in you, so yeah. I don't know. Fuck it, that. I don't have a clue. <laughs> Brushy Dortmund. Nice, I'll take that. Um, obviously, as well, there's certain shirts that I don't particularly want, and I know that are cheap on offer, perhaps. So sometimes on Classic Football Judge site, they might say something's on offer, that's why it's gone down low. So we'll work out and do our research anyway. Hopefully, there's no severe shirts. Severe shirts are £10. If they include a severe shirt in here, we'll just kick off. So, mm. are you ready? Yeah, go for it. So, here we go. Get from the the mic. I know. So, <laughs> it's all in a nice little. Do we want to open this? this, this? What do we want to go first? So we'll try to do that first. Things, so, this, right, so well, like, this is this is the the classic football shirts. Yeah. So thing, here's the it? classic football shirt magazine you get given. It's the 15th, 15th anniversary. Yeah, fifteenth anniversary. There we go. This is actually I know I tell the shame it all the time because it's really cool. It's based just outside the Etihad Stadium. They've got a massive warehouse. I don't know if you've seen the video with them and Ian Wright. I'm and giving you the stuff. Of I have. Oh my god, it's incredible. So this is just a. This is literally what. I, this is just literally a collection of the football shirt shirts that got. is in here. We'll open at last. Oh my god, I think I've just seen the figurine. We've got a Nicholas Otamendi figurine. You can. <laughs> I'll let you keep that one, Harry. <laughs> I know you're a fan of that. Incredible. <laughs> We've got a shoot, 1990 holiday special oh, magazine. Wow. Who's in the front of that? It looks like it's Liverpool versus Wimbledon. Nineteen. So this isn't the Premier League. This is First Division. It this was back then as well. Nineteen ninety. So Aldridge, perhaps Maradona on the front as well. But that's the magazine. I'm so, oh, is it Alan Hansen? It looks a bit like Alan Hansen. It's Alan Hansen. It could be. It's, it's Alan Hansen. There we go then. So yeah. So that's that. We've also got looks like a poster in here. We'll open that in a minute as well. We've got a Bundesliga. Football 2008-2009 stickers. Oh my god! So that's going to be the teams in there. It's very much yeah, the same. Not a bad team. Bayern, Bochum, as one of the extreme ones. I mean, there's not really ones. Is that Union Berlin? No, that's. I mean, Byfield. I don't know what about that, that one is though. I'm not sure what that one is. I don't know that. That's Kaiser Slaughter. That VFL Bochum. Wow. Well, okay. Well, that's knowledge. So, uh, do you want to open your? I'll open the poster now. Oh, I can't believe Nicholas Sotomendi. He's going on top of <laughs> Poster time. Nice. The 1998 World Cup shirts. Very nice. Is England on there? No, yeah. Oh, yeah, 98. Wait, the World Cup. Yeah, is this the one England should have won? Everyone says England should have won this, right? 98. Because the, there was the 96 Euros, the one they got to the semi final. First 92, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm joking. Um, anyway, so there's a poster of the uh, 98 World Cup home shirts. That'll be. A poster you got in the cluders. Should we open a sticker first and leave the shirts all off, shall we? Yes. Get, the, get the viewers' attention, shall we? Let's try not rip his stickers. Who's playing back then? I'm trying to think. Is Gerd Miller still around then? Or what? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I mean, Nicholas Otamendi is in it. And... So we've got Antonio de Silva of Kaiser Slauten. Oh, Graphite. Bloody hell. Graphite from Wolfsburg. We've got a shiny. 
Simon Rolfs from Bayern Leverkusen. I'm just going to make sure that they actually have seen this. Properly. We've got Dennis Sorensen. From, so that uh, company didn't realise. It's FC Energy Cottbus. So it must be fortunately folded. And finally we've got Robert Tesk from a minor byfield. Yeah. Pretty stinky that though, wasn't it? I mean, they might have been back it in could the... could be. Might not don't know. <laughs> we don't know, do we? We got a shiny one. There we go. I should, I should, I should, I probably, it says, yeah, I think there's a shiny included. Oh, right, that. okay, maybe. So, but back then, there we go. It says, packet, it's fit. 50 cent... 50 cent, not the wrapper. 50 cent a sticker. 50 cent a packet is. Wow. Well, so, about five quid nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> so, I need to get two stickers in there probably as well. So mm. that's that. And finally now, Harry... The shirt and the scarf as well. Oh, oh there's a certain scarf. scarf shirt I'm going to put this just here. Here we go. It's a mystery shirt. Oh, I'm excited. I am um, right, excited so, for this to be. Is there a scarf? To open a scarf first. It's a red scarf. Oh. Uh, mm. A Paris Saint-Germain. Oh. looks very old, though. Goodness me. Actually, Nike, maybe. Nike. Oh, no, the, the Jordan now, aren't they? So this is definitely Paris, not Paris, San Germain, or Nike is Jordan. Ah, uh, I suppose. And there's the um, other side of it. Oh, what the hell? PSG. There we go. There's a scarf for PSG. Does that mean that we've got a PSG? If we do, then I'll be loving shirt. that. You reckon? Here we go. The shirt is... Oh, my God. It's another Google one. <sighs> Christ's sake. <laughs> Spell it out for me. So, this shirt is Al Mania. A L A A L E M A N N I A. So they are. It's a, it's a specific territory in Germany. Oh. <laughs> football club. Hang on then. Enrina Aachen Football Club. There we go. So they play in the western city of Germany. So the German football club first. Ball. So the reason. So the Bundesliga reason, was, was I right of Bundesliga? Oh no, I said Italy, didn't I? So the uh, they are currently in the re- region de Liga West. It's a semi-professional football division. Right. It's one of five German regional football associations. Um. So the only shirt that's listed on the Class of Football Shorts website is an extra extra large 2008 version of this. We may have to do our Notable research players, into this. Lewis Holtby, Kai Havertz. It's not bad, that. It's not bad. Well, obviously, past players, not now. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, of course. But uh, that's not bad for a semi-pro team. I, I don't think that's too bad. But basically, yeah, they're, they're rubbish. Yes. Um, to go from one of the richest clubs <laughs> in the world to that. So, in, so they finished in the free league, I believe... They got a ground that's thirty two k. It's not too bad. Pretty much then, I think the regional west is what they, that's what they play in there. I think that's the fourth division of German football. So that'd be League Two in Germany. It would be. Mm, they're not having a good season. The third from bottom. <laughs> so, might as well get the shirt whilst we're here. It's a white shirt with yellow and black on the sides. It could be this season's shirt. I'm not sure. We'll have a look now anyway. Get it out properly. So, oh my goodness, it's got a name on the back. Oh, was it? Here's the shirt. Here we go. Alemania. And the name on the back is... Noll. Tw- <laughs> 27. No. <laughs> Noll footballer. It could be anyone. Emil Noll. Oh, yeah, they're still playing from there. Look, there we go. No, he doesn't. 43 years old. Oh, he currently plays for Homburg. He doesn't play for him anymore. So, it's pitched played from there. between 2004 and 2006. Played and made 53 appearances, scoring five goals. There's not much on so, Wikipedia for him, but he's a current footballer. So, if you look at his picture, then so he played for them back in 2004, 2006. Well, so. while saying that, they haven't updated it. He's probably retired. They've not updated it since 2013. Apparently, so, he's made no appearances. <laughs> so he's either stealing a living or he's. If not. you go back now a sec, and if you type so, in Alemania Aachen, yeah, um, and you type in Kit. And see what comes up, and see if it's might. Be, obviously, it's not going to be this season, is it? Oh, well, one of them sixty six quid. <laughs> no, it's not this season's. I, I I probably couldn't tell you when that was. No. Well, it was between two thousand and four and two thousand eight. So that's when he played for him. If that's correct, then two thousand four, two thousand eight. We have a shirt here printed. Oh, we found it. No, that's the one that was only on Passport website. I've mentioned that one already. So this one's obviously a printed shirt for two thousand four, two thousand eight from Alemania Aachen. 
in the German, now current German 4th Division. I believe at the time when that this was done, they were in the the third Liga. I think this was shirt was. Mm. So, here we go. Alemannia Aachen, that's the shirt. I think we've done okay now. Hold that up a second, Harry. We have a PSG scarf. All the way around, hang on. A PSG scarf. There we go. And um, we've got Nicholas Otamendi. Nicholas Otamendi. We've got a poster. <laughs> <laughs> we got a poster with all these football <laughs> shirts on for that 98 World Cup. We've got a shoot magazine. Otamendi. Class football shirts. Magazine. And five stickers. So Ot- you're saying that that is 34. So I'll, 35 I'll, I'll, I'll put a link. Obviously, I'll show the uh, picture on the video. But all of uh, Alemannia Arkan shirt on the Class football shirts website. Mm. Is listed at thirty five pound, and that was two thousand eight, two thousand. Well, you think that's thirty five pound? The scarf is definitely worth at least twenty quid because Paris Saint Germain. Possibly it's going to be retro now as well. Yeah, so that's fifty five. These are about three pound. About seven. So we'll say so thirty five, twenty, fifty five, fifty eight stickers. It's fifty. It's fifty two quid, sixty pound. Yeah. So sixty well pound for all this wasn't bad, and considering what we got here was sold out within two hours. And it's definitely, I'd say it's definitely been better than the last. Two or three that we've opened. Well, yeah, well, obviously, we opened, you might see on the channel, we opened a secret shirt co box, which was this shirt here. This uh, Alejandro. They, defi- they were definitely the better shirts. That was definitely the best shirt. And then we all got this one here from the non league mystery football shirt box. We all got yeah. also got a program in this one as well. On a and shirt. That, that, that was the best memorabilia because it had that ancient program. Yeah, ancient program, yeah, yeah. That was definitely the best shirt for funkiness, but this in terms of value for money. 100% the best box and it's a rare box like you said it sold out in two hours yeah. it's something that classic football shirts had never done before they've so. done it once before actually and what they did is they changed the stuff in there so it's like a full kit you got in it rather than extra millimeter so mm. if you look on the, if you type in classic football shirts mystery box on YouTube you'll see people unboxing and they've got shirts and socks from like Scotland international team And I wonder why they took out the UK ones I have no idea maybe people have already got a lot of Perhaps UK maybe. things. It's a different one. Maybe they may do a UK one soon. Maybe. But yeah, so two hours sold up mystery box. Very much worth it. Harry, what's your final verdict? Would you buy this for yourself? I, I would, yeah. I think what makes this different to the, the other mystery boxes is all the different elements. So you've got your sort of, it's not just one shirt and that's it. Yeah. You've got your program, you've got your scarf, your figures, your everything. S- yeah, you've literally got everything. And, you know, for, for 40 quid, you have got half a bit more than that. Um, I don't, so, yeah. I, think, I don't really know what I was expecting and I mean these these would be interesting to read I mean this has got bloody Alan Hansen on the front there we go uh, it's got a souvenir John Barnes poster so if you <laughs> dig into your John Barnes you can put up on your boom it's record. got David Platt oh my god it's got it's got Ian Rush it's, it's, it's 1990 so this is before the Premier League was the Premier League as well so mm, it's got a feature on Maradona <laughs> Oh my god, it's got basically it's got everything. It's a 19 app, so nice. no match the program. It's basically not, well, shoot, it's not shooting in a Kevin Campbell, if you're an Arsenal there you fan. Go. It's 1990 magazine. Super Still, good. so that's a 30, you've got a 32 year old magazine. You've got perhaps a 15 year old shirt. PSG scarf here looks about probably 5 to 10 years old. Mm. Everything's classic, as it says. Nothing, it looks like now, nothing's up to date. Do you want so, balance poster as well? Very nice. There we go. Overall, I'd rate this box. I'd say 9 out of 10 only because the shirt was pretty poor yes could be able to do a reason on it not like well that shirt's entertaining compared to this one no, like, it's quite a cool name on I the think, back I think yeah. when you're having a random shirt right you'd, you'd rather have a funky shirt like that yes. and you'd rather have an out there shirt but that was just basic like you could mistake that for any Bundesliga club we could have right, you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so look if it's funky like the the Alib we got off the secret shirt come unboxing yeah. yeah then definitely but that, that's just the look of the drawer in it. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. A scarf's quality. Um, as I said, you've gone from like one of the richest clubs in the world to probably like <laughs> the book's the poorest. Yeah. Uh, and you've got a really nice little retro feel to the so the ones and Nicholas sort of mixed in the middle. Have you, have you kept him? Have you, have you put him behind? I've put him back, back in, in the box. Yeah. <laughs> in the box. Uh, so yeah, box. guys, that's our third opening. Let us know what you want to see next. Hopefully we've got some more coming up soon because we like doing these kind of things like mystery and obviously to prove to you guys whether or not you should buy the box or not. Mm. Overall, we'd rate this. You would buy it. Sorry, we would buy it, sorry. Um, very much worth the money, what you get. Mm. Like we said in previous videos, these two shirts behind us, I wouldn't have gone out my way to buy them myself. Yeah. This one here... I would, we wouldn't be able to find them. Uh, exactly. I wouldn't have gone out my way to buy this one as, as well. Mm-hmm. We might have to try and contact the footballer ourselves and say, right, mate, we've got your shirt here. Is this actually yours? Kind of thing we could do for a, <laughs> have a look. But, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, 
let us know if there's another company you want us to open up next perhaps and we'll get our thoughts and we'll tell you what we think of it so let us know in the comments and we'll see you later guys goodbye